All right, we have an interesting afternoon going on in the Tennessee Valley. A little sunshine out there and uh, Cedric Haynes is at the Storm <laughs> Alert Center right now. Cedric, I've noticed these days getting shorter and shorter and uh, what does it look like for this evening? Well, David, we've got lots of sunshine, so take advantage of that. If you get off work here in the next couple of minutes or just uh, maybe planning on going outside after doing some homework here in a few minutes, enjoy this sunshine while we have it because tonight is the last 7 p.m. sunset until March. So we've got a long ways to go, and that's right, that time change that also occurs on Sunday, November the 7th at 2 a.m. So when you factor in the two things, we fall back. We, of course, have that shorter sunset time frame. That means our sunsets go from after 7 o'clock in the evening to now going to be just after 5 o'clock in the evening as we get towards, uh, let's say, the second week of November. So some big changes underway. But out there right now, we've got that filtered sunshine, some of those high, thin cirrus clouds building in across the area. So we'll call it partly cloudy across the region. 72 degrees currently in downtown Chattanooga. Notice that dew point of 46. That is some very dry air in place. We've got those calm winds, so that's going to probably set us up for that potential of more patchy, dense fog later on tonight. Let me show you the temperatures out there right now. 72 in Athens, 72 Two in Dayton. We've got 73 Dalton, 73 Fort Payne, and 68 degrees currently in Altamont. Now, as we take a look at the current setup here, we've got lots of warm air that's streaming in. That's because we're on the back side of this area of high pressure that continues to slide to the east. So as it moves east, we get that return flow out of the south, and that's what's going to be pumping in the warmer temperatures, and that's what we're dealing with here and we will continue to deal with here over the next couple of days. Now, as we expand the view off to the west, notice we'll have a couple of more days of decent weather, but our next weather maker, we're already watching here. This is this low pressure and cold front and that will move our way starting on Thursday and notice it does have some scattered showers with it and we'll be watching this system for our next chance of rain. So let's map this out hour by hour for you as we take a look at future cast. We'll start off with the changes over the next couple of days as that high pressure continues to move east. That southerly flow continues to build in. So again, you're going to notice an increase in cloud cover, not the uh, perfect cobalt blue skies out there, but still pretty nice overall across the area. But again, as that southerly wind continues to increase the humidity, increase the clouds and eventually as we head towards Thursday morning, here comes that cold front moving our way. Notice we start the day on Thursday dry across the area, but the chances for scattered showers and maybe even a few rumbles of thunder will arrive as we get into Thursday afternoon and Thursday evening with that cold front. Here's a closer inspection of that for you here. We'll go in a little closer and give you an hour by hour breakdown of your Thursday. Notice scattered clouds across the area. Could see a couple of spotty showers Thursday morning, but I don't think that's going to be the main event. I think the main event will hold off closer to when that cold front moves in. Notice we'll stop the clock around 4 o'clock Thursday afternoon. We'll see a broken line of showers and maybe some thunderstorms trying to develop along the plateau. That'll move down across the valley areas as we get towards, let's say, 5, 6, 7 o'clock in the evening and then pushes into North Georgia as we get over towards 8, 9 o'clock in the evening in the western North Carolina. That's when we could even have a couple of rumbles of thunder and some downpours across the area. As far as rainfall totals, eh, about a quarter to maybe as much as a half an inch across the south. But overall, I'm thinking about a quarter of an inch will be a good average across the area. For tonight, partly clear skies, it will be chilly again. We're looking at lows back down into the 40s, so make sure you have that extra blanket or at least a hoodie ready for tomorrow morning. But look at the afternoon, 76 tomorrow after we burn off that patchy fog. We'll be looking at partly sunny skies with that light south wind. That warm air will continue to build in. Here's your storm alert seven day forecast. We have that decent chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms on your Thursday with that front. Then we've got some light rain chances for the weekend. I say light, no particular day looks to be a washout or anything like that just maybe a passing shower. Otherwise, look at those highs well into the 70s, getting close to 80 by next week with lows going from the 40s back into the 50s. So overall, get ready, though. It's going to be another chilly night for us overnight. David.